Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're just going to do a fun little short video to see how much freeboard is actually in a Weatherby cartridge. So I have my 300 Weatherby, it's a Vanguard synthetic in 300 Weatherby. So we're going to use this cartridge comparator uh, to see how far the freeboard is. So stay tuned. According to the books, the max overall cartridge length is 3.560, which, as you can see in this picture, and here I'll show you an Acubon I recently reloaded. The bullet really goes in far on these Weatherby cartridges. So Roy kind of developed it that way uh, to reduce the pressures and also to give the bullet some more jumps, maybe theoretically. It could help with velocities, not 100% sure, but basically there is a lot of free bore in a Weatherby cartridge. And we're going to find just how much free bore there really is. So I have this 300 Weatherby cartridge and the bottom has been a little bit hollowed out uh, with a thread so you could put it on this uh, cartridge comparator. So what I'm going to do is screw this on real quick. And then I'm going to get my bullet that I moved somewhere. Okay. I'm just going to put it in like that. It's not a big deal. And then we're going to put it into uh, the chamber and figure out where it touches the rifling or the lands and then we can see how much free bore there is. Okay so you're going to want to take your bolt out and then what you'll do is put it in all the way to the end and then you can push this forward until you feel that it stops moving. And then you can screw it in this is where it touches the lands and then you can pull it out and a lot of times the bullet will get stuck so I'm gonna to have to take the bullet out just with a, a cleaning rod so okay just uh, getting the bullet out of the rifling or the lands and there you go so now we can figure it out all right, now you can see how far this bullet really seats when it touches the riflings or the lands. As you can see, it barely <laughs> is in the neck. So as you can see, the free bore is ridiculously long. Let's go ahead and look now at the cartridge overall length compared to... So it's jumping, and I'll measure it for you, but it's jumping almost half an inch, which is just crazy amount of free bore. All right, so we're just measuring the free bore right now. And as I said, that's around half an inch, which is crazy amount. So there's a lot of jump with these Weatherby rifles. Um, I would seat these bullets out farther than this. However, if you come over here, let me put my magazine spring back in. Come up close, you can see that my magazine won't fit anything larger than Max Cole, so I'm pretty limited because of my magazine. So I just wanted to show you what, for this specific 178 grain ELDX overall cartridge length when it hits the lands or the riflings. So hypothetically, if you really wanted to seed out your Weatherby cartridge basically almost to the lands, what would be the overall length and as you can see here sorry my doing filming this one-handed it is going to be almost four inches so what it's at is three inches 3.956 inches which is crazy long so again half an inch longer than Weatherby's recommended 3.560 so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short little video. Uh, have a great day.